But how is AI going to evolve and why does a small business need to start doing that today? If you're a small business yeah. and you're saying, I'm, I'm not going to use it. Right. No one can replace what I do. I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're missing out. You're missing out. And the fact is that it, by 26, going into 27 even, I'm looking a little further out, AI, the cost of AI and implementation and the tools like Push Bio, as an example, have come down so significantly Correct. that if you're a small business, you can get in the game. So I think like, look, if, if you're a business owner who is not right now using one of those five, six tools, you are going to fall behind. Right. And and. No way, shape, or form are Ken and I here saying that it's going to replace humans. It's just going to empower us. And what's important is that you you have guidelines. I do guidelines with my employees. Yes. They're gu guidelines, guardrails. And we created an AI policy internally, and we created with AI. Right, with AI. An, yeah, an AI right. policy for our website. So what we do with our newsletters, with our podcasts, everything that we do, we let people know where we're using AI and how. And then we go deep into the source because I can tell you, I have found just like with humans mistakes, yeah. but because we have human in the loop, nothing goes out the door That's right. if it's not handled by human beings. In some cases, Ken, I'm saving 5%, right. in other cases, 50% of the time. Yeah. That's real money. That's real money. I'm talking about a couple thousand yeah. dollars.